What's up, Rage Nation? My name is Alex Yu, and you're watching another unboxing video. We're going to unbox Revel Tech Iron Man War Machine. And this is cool because in the back of the box, it shows you this really, really cool artwork. Well, not really artwork, just the photos of what you can do in terms of posability of a War Machine because, you know, Revel Techs are all about super posability. And I want to dedicate this unboxing video to Andreas. Andreas asked me a little while back if I'm going to be unboxing uh, the, the Revel Tech Iron Man figures. Well, I won't be unboxing the Revel Tech Iron Man figures, but I will be unboxing this one for now. So this will have to do. So I dedicate this to you, Andreas. Here we go. Let's unbox this baby right now. So I don't got like like a super clean desk. I got all my crap here, but that's okay because we're just unboxing this, and I want you guys to just focus on what's being uh, um, done right now. And the topic at hand is unboxing this badass toy. Let's see what we got. Let's take this out first. Oh, see, that's what happens. That's what happens when, when, when you unbox these things. You gotta make sure you're careful, otherwise you're gonna start losing pieces. So, okay, here's a better look. And you got, uh, not Iron Man, War Machine. You got two, like, gun blasts. Oh, okay, one big gun blast, two small gun blasts. Um, you got, a, a, like, a, like, a chain of, of uh, like, a bullet link, bullet strap. I don't know what you call it. Uh, chain link. <laughs> and you got his shoulder minigun. Here's uh, War Machine himself. This is the box to put all your extra accessories that you don't need. The label and the four extra hands. Let's just take him out first. Okay, cool. He's got all this plastic here. We're going to have to uh, take all this off. But I'm going to worry about that later. The next thing I'm going to do is just take all these plastic off. These, uh, I, I really don't think I need it. Just because I keep it in a pretty cool environment. So I'm not worried about the plastic like melting off or anything like that. So here's your... Here's your giant gun. This one's for the minigun on the on the shoulder. Okay, let's take a look at that minigun. Here's the minigun that goes on the shoulder. Oh, it's not even going on the shoulder. It goes on his, the back. You see, it goes on the back here. But you could twist it so that it's off to the side. So that it looks like it comes out from the shoulder. Okay, next let's pull out this chain link. Uh, this chain link obviously goes on the minigun, but attaches to somewhere on his back. So probably right here. Okay, um, these extra hands obviously for like if you want it in like open palm mode like for blasting with his palms of course you have the Iron Man uh, war machine this label here the Revel Techs I think all Revel Techs come with this thing I'm not sure because I only have uh, four Revel Techs and all of them are three of them are, are Iron Man ones and uh, the other ones Revel Tech uh, Optimus Prime anyways here's that box that it comes with it's kind of funny because it comes in a clear box with like holes in it for it to breathe I suppose so there's that I might as well take it all out just because well I'm gonna be taking you know take him out anyways so what the heck anyways let's get all this plastic off you know what's up with all this plastic oh the, the plastic's really to separate the plastic from touching the plastic <laughs> yeah uh, he's got plastic here as well and finally the one around its waist uh, does this come off if I no I'm not even gonna try oh there's two there's two that uh, three there's actually three okay now I'm done there he is, right there. Pretty cool. I mean, if you can't afford the war machine, that's like the Hot Toys war machine, which is the other one that's the best one. This is the second best thing. Uh, war machine by Hot Toys is the definitive toy of of, uh, of of war machine, but this is the second version because it's smaller, but it's the details is all is still there. Of course, when the smaller it is the less detail there is, but um, this still is a really, really great figure just because of the posability. And uh, I'm gonna attach all the parts to it, except for the extra hands. Uh, I want him in, in like blasting mode. So let's let's uh, put the, the blast on. Blast on, blast off. Let me attach the uh, the blast onto the, the minigun. And let's like pose this so that it's uh, off to the side. And I hope this is like, can support itself just because I'm going to attach it on here, attach it on the back like it's supposed to, and it's a bit hard to go on for some weird reason, it's not going on, it's, have, it, it's a bit of a fight, there we go, but yeah, it can pose, it can, it, can, it can definitely pose, but I need to turn this, and then, there we go, there we go, this is a great toy, I'm really, really impressed, I got all the parts that I need, to make this happen. And 
and you just gotta kind of experiment with the posing because you don't know it's real you don't really know its limitations until you try to play with it and because he's a revel tech he can stand on its own but I'll tell you right now he's top heavy there's a lot of mass above the waist and because of that you really really have to pose him in a way where he can support himself so you gotta focus the the, the balance of the the distribution of the weight uh, appropriately so that he can stand on its own so right now is a little bit awkward but there are ways you can make this look good without making it look too awkward but uh, like I said you got this you got all this stuff this is all stuff that adds to the, it being top heavy uh, because uh, below the waist there's not a whole lot of mass so there you have it anyways um, I'm gonna be playing around with this a little bit more in uh, maybe another video but uh, this is it. And there you have it. Anyways, if you want to get this guy or any of the other um, Iron Man Reveltech figures or any um, Reveltech figures in general, just go to uh, my link um, below. That's the Plamoya link. Um, it, um, uh, they still have a, a bunch of them in stock. And they also have the Iron Man Mark II. That's a silver one. That's the one I'm getting next. And so, um, yeah, use the link below. Click on that. And... Um, uh, I think it's a very reasonably priced toy actually some places are selling it for a little bit higher but I think at the moment uh, Plamoya is actually having a discount on it so I think it's like maybe 10% off or something I don't know but uh, look it up last time I checked they were having a sale so uh, here it is and um, I hope you enjoyed this video if you did click that like button subscribe to my YouTube channel like me on Facebook the Rage Nation also follow me on Twitter at Rage Nation oh yeah by the way like I said in a previous uh, Facebook Rage Nation post I mentioned that I really enjoy these unboxing videos so uh, I'm trying to make more room on my shelf okay there's not a whole lot of room but I want to do more unboxings actually but uh, I'm gonna try to bunch these guys up and clutter them it's gonna take a little bit of time but I will do my best to make more room because I do want to do more unboxing videos all right anyways my name is Alex you and thanks for watching this video all right see you next time see you next time peace that comes out and uh, see this peg here I gotta insert that into like some kind of hole so I gotta find that hole uh, but uh, I can't, I don't know what the heck I'm supposed to do next.